when we recite the chant on goodwill. It ends with, may I look after myself with ease, and may all living beings look after themselves with ease. This points to the fact that there's only so much that we can do for each other, and there are areas where each of us has to learn how to look after him or herself from within. <coughs> after all, there are certain things in your experience you don't share with anybody else. And the number one one is the fact that you're creating suffering and you feel the suffering, but nobody else can take your pain and make it less. They can sympathize with you. They can provide nice conditions for you. But your feeling of pain is your feeling of pain. And the question is, are you going to suffer from it? And what the Buddha does is give you the skills you need so you don't have to suffer from things, no matter how bad things are outside. The way you handle them inside is going to make all the difference, and he's giving you the tools to do that. We start with the breath, and we also start with looking at the way we think about things. You begin to realize that you have the choice to think about things in different ways. Well, learn how to train yourself so that if your mind gets stuck in a thought that's pulling you down, you learn how to lift yourself back out. Learn to question the thought. They tell that story of the, the riddle, you know, you're in a dream and you're in a boat. And someone there in the boat has a gun and he's threatening to kill one person in the boat and you have to choose. You know, all your family's there in the boat and you're there in the boat and you have to choose which person for that person to, ki to kill. And if you don't choose one person who's going to kill them all, what would you do? And they say that adults have problems with this, this riddle. Little kids tend to have an easy time. They say, well, just wake up from the dream, and that's the end of it. So realize that a lot of your thoughts are like dreams. You can wake up from them, pull yourself out, question them. Don't let them take over. Don't let them take any reality that they don't really deserve, especially if it's causing you to suffer. Nothing that you think that causes you to suffer has any right to have any control over your mind. So we meditate so we can learn how to step outside of our thoughts, and this is an important skill in learning how to look after ourselves with ease. So try to work on it every day. And when you learn how to look after yourself with ease, you're also playing less of a, placing less of a burden on other people. We've probably seen people who are either extremely young or extremely old, and there's a point where you realize that you can always say so much that they'll understand, and do so much for them. They've got their own area of suffering inside, and they don't have the skills to handle it, you feel, feel at a loss. But if other people can see that you know how to handle your suffering, then you're much less of a burden on them, both physically and mentally. So it's for your own good and for the good of other people. Learn how to look after yourself with ease. It's probably the number one skill that we should all learn. And so we should give it our top priority.